Now let's move to Dexter and the plant that has captured the attention of so many. It sure has. We showed you yesterday as the corpse flower in Dexter began to bloom and now slowly but surely it's on its way out all while leaving a horrible <laughs> smell behind. Paula Tutman traveled to Dexter today to check it out. The fascinating science of corpsey, the corpse plant. She is opened, she is now closing, she's now degrading. How scientists have come to Dexter so they can find out more about their corpse plants through this one. It's a beautiful shape. It's this plant is so rare in the wild, and finding a blooming corpse flower is so unusual, even in, well, so-called captivity, that when this one started to bloom in Dexter, scientists came a-calling. Our last one bloomed 10 years ago. So I kind of wanted to pick Kevin's brain a little bit here. Kevin and Barbie Hauser opened their home up to our live stream cameras. I've just had it steadily up on my phone and on my laptop and just keep checking to see if anything's happening. And scientists, botanists, and horticulturists have come from far and wide. It's quite extraordinary. Nice size. Still fairly pungent. We have some smaller carrion flowers and those I would put, typically you'll be working in a greenhouse and you'll catch a whiff and think, oh, did we catch a mouse in one of the traps? The corpse flower here today, now that it seems to be senescing, um, there's a whiff, maybe there's a dead animal nearby. At peak bloom, you can taste it. You could like cut the air with a knife, it's so thick. And I would, I put that usually at pile, pile of dead deer. It is indeed a feat of nature, how mother nature tricks whom and what she needs to in order to procreate. Remember, carrion insects are pollinators, and so this plant in size, shape, color, and yes, smell, mimics dead and rotting flesh. So last night, uh, we saw all the mechanisms that are trying to get it pollinated. Number one, the smell, it's dry, it, uh, you know, it attracted uh, birds of prey <laughs> over our homes, uh, as well as uh, filled this conservatory up with flies. And then we've got the, um, the color, this deep burgundy or deep red color looks like uh, meat when it's open. And as the sun sets on the mere 24 hours of spectacular bloom, as much as scientists came to learn from Kevin, he's learned from them. Uh, very often after the, uh, this plant flowers, the corn will die from root rot because um, it's in such a weakened state. And so now I know, you know, uh, talking to the MSU folks that, um, uh, you know, that's something I gotta be really sensitive about. He's actually learned more things about how to keep her alive for her next bloom many years down the road. Paula Tutman, Local 4.